Emma had always been fascinated by time travel. As a child, she would dream of being able to go back in time and witness some of the most significant events in history. As an adult, she became a scientist and devoted her life to studying the laws of time travel. After years of research and experimentation, Emma finally built a time machine. She climbed into the machine and set the date for the year 1920. As the machine whirred to life, Emma felt a rush of excitement and anticipation. She closed her eyes and held on tight as the machine hurtled through time. When Emma opened her eyes, she found herself in a bustling city street in 1920. The sights, sounds, and smells of the past overwhelmed her. She felt like she had stepped into a different world. As she walked down the street, she marveled at the vintage cars, the old-fashioned clothing, and the architecture of the buildings. Emma spent the next few days exploring the city and immersing herself in the culture of the past. She visited jazz clubs, speakeasies, and dance halls. She met fascinating people and listened to their stories of life in the Roaring Twenties. But as much as Emma loved being in the past, she knew she couldn't stay forever. She had a life in the present, and she didn't want to miss out on it. So, with a heavy heart, she climbed back into her time machine and set the date for her return. As the machine whirred to life, Emma felt a sense of sadness and longing. She knew she would miss the past and the people she had met there. But as she traveled back to her own time, she realized that the experience had taught her a valuable lesson. Time travel wasn't just about exploring the past. It was about appreciating the present and looking to the future. Emma vowed to live her life to the fullest, cherishing every moment and making the most of her time on this earth. And as she stepped out of the time machine and back into her own time, she knew that she would never forget the lessons she had learned on her journey through time.